Uh, hi everyone, welcome back to Divinity. Apparently, I think I read a book and then we got dialogue. I read, uh, Bolius's will, so... Quite an important document to entrust to a stranger. With a quill and ink, one could easily alter it. I've never found out if we missed her on late. <laughs> Do we want to be, uh, like, a fucking shitburger? I, I, we'll read, we'll read what it is in a minute, but... Why, let's put our names down. That's brilliant! He'll never find out if we list our own names as the inheritors of his fortune. You can't be serious. Just because it would be easy doesn't mean we ought to do it. We have no right to that money. What? Your compassion. I think you wanted that. Critical chance. No, I don't. That's, too, that's backstabbing. Fuck that. Doesn't matter, though. I thought it was funny. His voice is well. So he said, um... He's, uh, he's gone, uh, he said, please take my locked box and make full use of its contents. That was his will that I read. So, uh, we'll keep it for now. Uh, so, oh, by the way, uh, Canned, so welcome back everyone in. Canned, uh, bought a shit ton of skill books for us, so we have, um, Pyro abilities, which I can't learn right now, but next level I can. These are, like, really nice. Because I get to just explode around pe around people and uh, purifying fire, which is a very useful one. I think actually, can can Joan do that one? Joan can learn purifying fire. That would be good for Joan. I would love to have a good time. Okay. Apparently, I only have two. I can only learn two ADEP skills. So what's the other one I have right now? Uh, I have fireball right now. And, and fire uh, summon fire elemental. I don't think I want to do that right now. So you, you know what? We're gonna wait on that then. We'll give that back to myself. Maybe I'll take it, but I'd rather not have to be have to be the one to have it because I'm the one who gets charmed anyways. Oh yeah, their choice is to remove fireball, but that's that's one of his damage things. So I, I could also get him like level three in in uh, in pyrokinetic. So who knows? Anyways, um, we we finally finally got seven wolf. But now I have like a bunch of shit now, so. I'm sure someone could use it. I don't know. Let's see. It does, however, take extra damage from fire attacks. It's pr probably, probably Joan could do it. And this fucking person is talking to me constantly about. She's calling me sweet cheeks, and I, I'm deeply offended by that. We're gonna give this to Joan then. So he has like two different kinds of summons, it's a lot, but you know, whatever. He doesn't really need to know how to summon spider anymore, but there's no reason for him to not do that. Alright, we have Tornado here. Remove surfaces from the battlefield, revealing invisible characters. Clears warm, burning, and hastened. Very, very good ability. Very utility, though. Uh, something that Joan will definitely learn. So now we're up to... No, it's not this one, is it? I think I just gave it to the wrong person. Canned. Good job. No, no, I didn't. Did I? I might have given to the wrong person. No, no, I didn't. Are you sure? I, I, I'm fucking double checking this. What? Where is it? I learned it. I shard. What kind of ability was it? Tornado, here it is. Okay, never mind. It was Arrow Surge. That's why I was confused. Don't worry, he's got it. He's got it. The right person has it, okay? And then Water of Life, you and your allies magically gain constitution. Gonna send that to Joanne too. That's a very nice buff. Uh, so now, and you kind of, we kind of used it before, but it basically adds vitality to us. Something that we should definitely do before, before we fight. And that's it. Uh, everything else that belongs to me, so. We are going to be spending probably the rest of this episode uh, talking to people. You look like you're in dire need of some fun. And I'm just the girl to fun you. Tell me a bit about yourself. No, oh, sugar. That's a story for another day, ain't it? Speaking of, yours and mine has hardly begun. What say we get better acquainted upstairs? I've hey, can you give me 250 to, gold? Um, <laughs> details. I need 250 gold, you know? can't. Just give it all oh, you. Just give, uh, yeah, you have to have a bit of room at the ready. Indeed I do. And I'm just itching to take you places you've only ever dreamed of, darling. <laughs> What's a lousy 250 gold between an adventurer like you and a fine piece of tail like the one I've got in store for you? Let's have some fun. Oh, 
that's the spirit, sugar. Oh, gold always puts me in the mood for a little romance. Follow me then, my knight in shining armor. All right, I'll see you later, Kent. See you later, have fun. Gonna go, go, gonna go have some action. I'm glad you beelined for that. <laughs> of course I did. It did work before because I didn't have the money for it. Yeah, the tavern. It's always wrenches. Wrenches? What, what, wenches, sorry? Is that what wrenches? Dude, I don't even want to know what's going on in this room and how much she paid for that. Bicky and Bonnie. Probably entirely too much money. We have things to do and it's taking so long. All right, all right, jo Joanne, you wait out here. God, the fuse is getting shorter. Stop it, freeze it. Oh boy. All right. I'm gonna yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna lie down. Make myself comfortable. There you are, darling. Shall we get started then? Let's get it on. Oh, let's do it. But first, I need to know about your preferences, darling. You're in charge tonight, after all. So tell me, which sort best floats your boat? A savage, merciless witch, or a gentle, sensuous nymph? Oh, uh, dude, the, the nymph, of course. In need of a gentle hand, are you? Well, I've just the soft and sumptuous knoll in mind for you to rest your weary heads. Why don't we make ourselves comfortable and begin? Do 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 do. Uh, lie down. Once upon a time, the patron goddess of feasting took a fancy to the humble spirit of insatiability. Of their God, union, the fuse is a getting shorter. Clyde Stop Ella it! Freeze it! Born. The child of parents so expert in flavor and quantity. Clydella's calling was clear. Having fun? A master cook. Oh, totally. Came, Get exactly what I paid for. Round and gulch to Wimpit Willow. Queens and sultans trembled before her crow's egg crumble. You there, cut out! <laughs> God, I made her stop. <laughs> I, stole, I, I, I was taking a picture of a cut. Dude, I'm I, was I was taking a picture. So, yeah, she reads you, she reads you a story for uh, 200 coins. That, that's all she does. 200, you said 250. You fucking 250, lied to yes. me. Yeah, that's fucking 250. <sighs> Oops. <sighs> I'm, I'm gonna loot this room. You know what? You can you can fucking loot the rest of this room when I'm not when you're, when you're back here. <laughs> Locked. You can go you can get the good money off her. Okay, I'm gonna go solve the fucking the the fucking shit that's going on in the next room here. Join, you need to go save the day. You there! Back off! Bicky Boom! One more step, and Bicky Boom! Oh, okay. No, don't go! Oh, okay. Please help me! That thing is keeping me trapped here! It's crazy! It'll kill me! Uh, never fear, madam. He's bluffing. He'll never dare blow himself up or calm down. I'm not coming any closer. Let's talk about this. Please. All right, so obviously the, we have very easy ways of, of dealing with this. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You saved my life. It was that cur of a Frederick that did this to me. He locked me in here with that, with that ridiculous creature. Dear me, I need to get out of this room. Yes, I'll go downstairs to catch a breath of fresh air. But do come and talk to me again if you want to hear more about what transpired here. My thanks once more. What are you doing? Wouldn't you like to know? Ah, there you are. <laughs> you were rather conspicuously absent during that last fight I was in. <laughs> what? Uh. what? <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> what? Where'd 
did you a bit, but it's conspicuously absent. Well, whoopty tiddly do. Does that mean you had to cast that hide behind your mother's skirt spell? <laughs> I'll cast the head up your ass spell if you don't hold your tongue. <laughs> You'd back your cowardice up by scorn. Pathetic. Cowardice? <laughs> What the fuck is this that you're doing? It's a disco spell, man! What the it shit? It saves is the that? game! Shree, my ult! Archer's assault! Did <laughs> anything to the chest? Did nothing. What a, what a good, what a good spell. It's got, it's got a lot of HP. You need level 4 lockpicking. You have that, don't you? A level 4 is all I need? Yeah. I got level three. I'll just come back later. Just get, 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 don't you have an item that increases it though? No, I'm not looking. Just give me a minute. I have I have a lock picking belt. I think so do I. Lock picking currently is at one. Let's see how much I can boost that. Uh, you know, let's, let's see if we can talk to Joan about his life story. You me for a reason, so go on. Speak. We have to get this over with. Yes. Let's get this over with. I, you know, it's it, fucking hell. He said the exact same thing I was thinking. Why don't you start at the beginning? Once upon a time, I was a king in a land of beauty to the east. A land of tigers and slender towers, of deserts and forests, of sun and all the world's wealth. I was a young king, handsome and all-powerful. Every nobleman would have killed his own brother if I promised to take his daughter's hand in marriage. But I refused their incessant implorations. I knew my life as a sovereign would be self-indulgent, but also a self-delusory one, if I weren't to marry for love. And so a handful of years went by. The king's throne I myself occupied, whereas the queen's throne remained empty but for the court's cats that would nap the afternoons away upon its velvet cushions. But then one day, a young woman visited my kingdom. She was a poetess and a storyteller. People flocked to her, listened to her every word as if receiving mantras from the divines. I invited her to my palace and soon our days, our nights, our love, and our lives intertwined. Tell me more about your lover. Iraka. Oh, God. How I miss her still. Miss the brilliance of her mind that was both as sparkling and as unbreakable as the diamonds that adorned her body. Oh, and how I miss her body. A thousand artists I could have commanded, show me beauty. But she would have effortlessly surpassed their every endeavor and curving her lips into a smile make them break their sculptures in tearful impotence. Demons. And yet, true happiness. That commodity more precious and even more fleeting than the dominion of kings sang to us like the nightingale, only to depart come the dawn of our first year's unity. A malady overtook me. And I began to wither. Tell me about the malady that took over you. It was an unparalleled malady. Horror. Fuck you. Scores of physicians flocked to my bedside. They traveled from realms across the seas hoping to cure the mighty Jehan. Undo the gloom that had befallen the land, and mere vultures that they were, to be paid handsomely for their efforts. But none of their potions took effect. Their salves seared, but did not soothe my fading flesh. Like a ghoul I looked, unburied yet risen from the grave. In futile anger I struck my mirror, but broke my brittle fingers only, not its ever mocking surface. Please tell me how you managed to cure yourself from malady that afflicted you. I, dude, it just looks like Milady. I think it's hilarious. Okay, fuck you. Milady. Like, like this, Hunter. If a ghoul I had become, so a dark turn of thought convinced me, a ghoul's methods I should employ to escape the labyrinthian crypt of corporeal corruption. 
A necromancer I'd be. Yes, only from deep within the deliriums of death would I tunnel my way back into the gardens of life. I did unspeakable things in the dusky dungeons that twist like forgotten veins to long-deceased organs far beneath my castle's sunlit halls. Halls which held my throne and held the bed upon which Heraka slept, her very touch blessing the satin she reposed upon. Still there came no relief. Perversions I created in scores, but they were mere undead all. Creatures so piteous that the thought of cheating death in their guise frightened me more than the swing of the scythe itself. Like mosquitoes in the night, panic and despair beset me until I turned to that darkest of all arts, demonology. So you of all people turned to demonology. It had to be. <laughs> there was no other way. I could feel the life slipping out of me like love out of a betrayed spouse's heart. So I studied tomes so old the dust that fell from their centuries unperused pages never knew the light of the stars that now shine. I drew forbidden symbols. I spoke unhallowed words. And from the smoke that rose like a dragon's last breath, a demon appeared to me and said, Ask. O oh, blighted king, and you shall have. Just tell me, I cried. Tell me what ails me. You asked the demon what ails you. What was the answer? Hiraka. Okay. Never had I known a single word can cut deeper than the sharpest of daggers. With maddening glee, the demon told me she was one of his kin. A soul-swallowing horror that had been feeding on both my body and my spirit like a leech. An ancient being was she, that moved from king to king throughout the ages, filling their hearts with love, then draining them of life. After such revelations, does one truly desire to live on? Death seemed like a mother then, welcoming me with her all-will-be-well embrace. Yet still I feared exceedingly her seemingly sweet caress and the oblivion that would follow. Release me from her demon and give me back the strength of a sick free existence. So went my desperate plea. It smiled, of course it did. Smiled bare a hundred razors as its eyes came alight with infernal fire. A thousand years I will give you, it whispered. But then your soul shall be mine to incarcerate in the depths of hellish nemesis. As for your throne, that I'll have now. What say you, O brittle king? Do you accept my terms? So tell me, Jahan, did you accept the demon's terms? I think you know the answer to that question, Hunter. But I've said enough for now. These memories are painful to recollect, so let us turn to the rest of them later. He told me his painful long history past and then I could tell him after this, Jahan, I need you to leave the party for the present. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Uh, right, let's just keep going with this. So this is going to be the episode of Jahan. By all means. Oh god, no. If you're in the mood for such a dark tale. Uh... Dude, it's just like holy shit. He's got like, he has like eight dialogue options here, and I don't know, I don't really want to listen to any of these. Fine. Why did you accept? Did you accept? Oh no, actually, we knew about this already. Never More mind. Pray, oh. All right. Apparently, I want to talk to you. Damon, Damon, and so let the. All right. I talked to Well, him well, well. So our very own demon <laughs> hunter once dabbled in the so-called darkest of arts himself. Yeah, this is kind of worth it, to be honest. <laughs> That's exactly what you'd be like right now. Uh... Demon hunter? Imposter, more like. All his talk of demons has been nothing but double-faced falsity. He's like right here, too. That's the fucking best the part. nail on the head. No matter the circumstance, I simply cannot abide a hypocrite. Blunt. Blunt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What did uh, even do for us? I love this game. We're immune to charms. Holy shit, I need that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you needed that. Oh, I'm still considered, though, for my Christmas plus one. 
I need yeah. to Chris. Yeah, I need the, I need that because I'm the loot guy. This means I'll get charmed. <laughs> Holy shit. I love this guy. What the hell are you doing back here? I'm trying to find a secret. Alright. Let me let me think about if, what do we want to do now. Take over the uh, world. I gave you some yeah. shit, by the way. Did you? Oh yeah. You should have fire resistance. I think I'm gonna need that fire resistance soon. I don't need these things. Yeah, both of them are gonna blast. Oh, there's a rat here again. If these villagers ever find out what Lawrence did, it's curtains for him. Oh, Lawrence apparently did something. Alright, let's see what's up here. A source hunter! My liege, I am at your disposal. I am Lawrence. The representative of the mining guild responsible for operations in Silver Glen. Please, valiant hunter, let us know how we can assist you. Tell me about yourself. Oh, I am no one special. Merely a humble servant of the guild and shepherd to the happy flock of miners within this settlement. What do you have to sell? Dude, he's got a wand. Pretty good one. Oh, well. My only cause for complaint, your grace, are these awful goblins. They're oh starving us out, refusing even a single honest miner his right to work. Perhaps, perhaps my most upright highlands, you might be able to help us with this little problem. Let's discuss your troubles in the mines. You must forgive me if I become somewhat overcome when discussing it, my liege. To think how I've been betrayed. To think how the humble miners of Silver Glen suffer. I invited a tribe of goblins to assist us in clearing the tenebrium from our mine, you see. The leader of the troop, a certain spitting Satan named Drexis, promised to clear the tenebrium and be gone. When the job was done, though, he and his band of totem brain fiends refused to vacate. They've kept close guard of the bridges to the mine since, and they'll slice whoever dares approach them into ribbons. These goblins follow Drexis like lemmings, your grace, and if only I could undo the traitor, they'd slither back to the swamp they crawled from. Drexus's head on my mantle would save countless miners from a slow starvation, my needs. What's one goblin over countless disenfranchised workers? I'd like to ask you some Please, further questions. your grace, I am completely at your disposal. Talk about goblins. Those brutes. I invited them here to save our valued miners from the ill effects of clearing tenebrium, and those interlopers met my invitation with a hostile takeover. They haven't allowed a single human miner past them in months, and meanwhile my men have all but forgotten their vocation and turned instead to their damned religion. Okay, tell me about tenebrium. Useless stuff, my liege. Worse than common dirt but ten times as difficult to extract and infinitely more dangerous. If only we'd known in advance the terrible effect rot would have, we would have stopped trying to clear it immediately. What is rot? There's a dreadful business that. I've been fortunate enough to avoid the sickness so far, my liege, but my heart truly breaks for the families of those who've been afflicted. You see, my liege, when a miner has been over long exposed to tenebrium, he begins showing certain symptoms. Gangrene about the extremities, fatigue, malaise. At first, we attributed these symptoms to, well, to poor diet, laziness, and general malingering. Had we known then what we've since discovered, we never would have continued operations. But alas, mistakes were made, and those we lost can never be brought back, no matter what that crackpot conduit would have one believe. The conduit? Uh, I care to tell, tell me more. Each, 
You ought not to concern yourself with the fraudulent leader of a crackpot cult. Really, the whole affair is an utter embarrassment to Silver Glen. Some insane huckster calling herself the conduit of the goddess made her way to Silver Glen at the height of the rot hold on our miners. The people were desperate, you see. When, by magic or illusion, she managed to cure a handful of them of the affliction, every last one of the bunch began speaking of her as though she were some messiah. Now most of the town is taken with her little cult of immaculates, as she calls them. Fortunately for her, she disappeared shortly after her little trick, or I would have thrown her into prison and swallowed the key myself. Imagine hypnotizing an entire town with nothing more than snake oil. What do you know about the Immaculates? Enough to know the whole institution has been a blight on productivity. With the blessings of the conduit to replace a sense of a job well done, the miners care hardly at all for getting the mines back in good working order. I'll take my leave. Hey, Mike, can I borrow your stone? My, my what? Teleporter stone? Oh. Nice. Need to do that. <laughs> Pass me behind back then. Lucky of course I want to come over here and see what you're up to. Where the fuck are you right now? Uh, basement of the tavern. Uh, okay. Nice. Ah, uh, there's actually stairs going up. You could have taken the stairs the whole time. No, I think that's spooky. Yeah, this doesn't go anywhere special. <laughs> okay, well we're we're back at the tavern. Uh, the the two vendors here are where we actually got the um. Oh, when we get over there, we got that's where we got all the skill books from. Right here. So this Where person the wind sells uh blows, the goddess breathes. Ice wall. Ooh, dude, ice Where wall. The rivers run, the goddess weeps. Mike, check your inventory. How can I connect you to our eternal god? Infectious flame? The master ability. I found it in a barrel. That requires level 15. It's gonna be a long ass time before we can use that. But it was free! I, f I found you something that you'll find very useful. Painting of a cock. Yeah. Just, just, some, just something for you know, that, those lonely nights. For, for later use, yeah. Her greatness gave us fire. Her greatness gave us earth. And my savvy brings you spells at the best rate in town. A, Come, this guy has a really good. Oh, dude, that's a five thousand gold fucking amulet. Fuck. Wait, that's entirely too much. So this guy sells like fireball and other shit. So. So. That's it for this guy. I don't think there's actually incredibly that much more. Actually, we want to talk to the guy who leads the church. So, that's I think that's pretty much it. Oh, there's actually a place here for me to do uh, crafting, I think. That's yeah, the place where I was before. You also yeah. talked to the smith. I think the blacksmith in there once once has a quest for us. Okay. Smithy. Hello again. Or, do a salutoin, as we say in our homeland. He said hello again, I assume you've talked to him? <laughs> yeah, because I, I was trying to find, uh, stuff to sell. Whatever, tell me about you yourself. You've probably noticed that my mother Nadia and I aren't from around here. No. We traveled rather far from our hometown to plant new roots here in Silver Glen. My father, Ben. His death was somewhat mysterious. And we've traced the puzzle back to this little settlement. My mother will have plenty to say on that subject, if you're interested. Uh, tell me about Nadia. Ma's a bit intense, to be sure. Set in her ways, but fiercely loyal to the family. Help her out, and you've got a friend for life. Cross her, and you'll be better off skipping town. Not that that'll stop her from cursing your line for the next thousand cycles of Bendis. My father was a good man, equal in character to his wife. His death nearly destroyed us, Ma and me. But now we're here, 
and we won't leave until we've held the proper parties accountable for their role in his death. Okay. Hey, let's you are then. Salutoin, Hunter. What can I do for you? Uh, tell me about yourself. My story? Well, this is no small tale. I think perhaps you will be more interested in the... How you say it? The short end of stick. I believe Lawrence, the leader of Mining Guild, tell my husband and many of other workers to mine deadly ore called Tenibrium. Lawrence knew that this ore caused rot. Charming name, no? Yet ordered miners to continue. Many men, my Ben among them, become the sickness. And now they, how you say, kick down the bucket. But the sickness... It is not normal. It kills swift and terrible, not unlike source. My son Shebi and I travel from our home to find truth, but this has proven not so easy. What can you tell about your husband, Ben? My sweet little Pomargo Visago. My darling Ben. Me got along like, how you say, uh, peas and ferrets. But he here there is work. Very well paid, in mines, clearing special rock from Silver Mine. So, he leaves Sebi and I to come to Silver Glen. We wait with hearts like stones for some months. And one day, we see familiar figure moving with strange steps on path toward cottage. We run, we help him Oops. inside and set him to rest. But he was in terrible condition. Each hour he grow worse, brought so fast we hardly recognize him after two short days. He slip away from us, and we bury him with much grief. Sorry, I skipped that dialogue. Like, uh, they run to meet him and take him to their arms, but he collapsed at our touch. So, he died. Uh, tell me more about your son Sebi. When his father died, Sebi become restless. Being of the age, he join army and go straight to front line. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. I fucking. Oh. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Just, just, just finish up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What did you tell her? Like she's like you're trying to buy things from her right now. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I tried to steal something. I was like, you want to buy that? Yes. I was like, yes, I want to buy that. What can I do for you? And it's, it's fine. Avoid it. So you help the proving Lawrence knowingly encouraged miners to handle Tenebrium. Exactly this. Please, Source Hunter, you must help me prove that Lawrence made his workers to mine deadly Tenebrium. For your help, I offer blessing from my homeland. Sevi mal successos, mi planto serizarbo kaito. Translation is difficult, but it means something like, if you fail, I will plant cherry tree and haunt your grandbaby beneath branches. Good luck. Oh, okay, thank you. Take my leave. Alright, well, you. I don't know what the fuck you gave to Joanne, but he's like fat now. <laughs> I gave him ore again? It's always ore. Fuck, well, there's a furnace here, so you know what? We'll just, we'll just walk there very slowly. You know what, motherfucker? Why, why do I have a globe? Get, fucking stop giving him this shit. <laughs> why do you want the globe? I don't want the fucking globe. It's useless, though. I don't know. Uh... All right, let's have a look. I have more silver ore here. I have too much to carry, dude. Like, what is he ta What is he carrying at this point? I, a lot. I, I have three buckets, and I don't know why. Why do I have all this cloth armor? Fuck this shit. Yeah, why do you have all that? Why do you give it to me to sell? I don't know. You gave me tea herbs. Can can I just combine that with water? Maybe McTee? Yeah. Where's tea? Or so where's water? I, I I used to have uh things of water. What did I do with them though? I can I can I can put a water balloon with it though. Why do I have that? That's a can. What happened to all oh, my yeah. water? Give it did, to me. Did I did did I fucking give you all the all the water or something? All the water cans things? 
I have a mug of water. Give that to you. Yeah, give, yeah, give that to me, actually. Where is it? Single that? one. Where is it? Give it to your hand. Fuck. You must have had more fucking things than this shit. Oh, here it is. Yeah, okay. I, I already have tons of this. Alright, let's, let's mix it with tea herbs. Yeah, mug of tea. That's all for you, I guess. Yeah. What does that even do? Let's have, oh, let's have a look. This game lets you li do literally anything you want. Uh, let's send this to Can first. And right, send that to Medora and drink this. Wait, what the? Wait, he's he can't drink the tea, mug of tea. What? It's against the rules. Yeah, he can't consume it. Yeah, you can have it now. Maybe I'm supposed to warm it up. I'll fucking I'll eat. Oh wait, I can't eat it. Yeah. Uh, give, give it to me. Give, give it back to me, actually, for a sec. Let me try and combine it with, like, the furnace or something. <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to warm it up, you know? Because you can't you can't have cold tea. Yeah, you should know this. You're, you're British. Well, this fucking iced tea. You can't have cold tea. No, you can't. It's against the fucking rules in this game. Cold tea doesn't, cold tea doesn't exist in this universe. You didn't give it back to me, did you? I did. Okay. And by me, you meant you gave to actually me, didn't you? No. What the fuck? Latest added? What? No, I don't have it, you fuck. I... Mug of tea, my You gave it to me! One. You gave it to fuck... You didn't give it to Johan, you shit. Yes, I give it to you every time! Okay, <laughs> apparently I can't do that. Whatever. Fine, I'm gonna give it to Midor now. Fuck you. Alright, well, that's it for this place, then. Um, I guess that's all the time we have for today, guys. Next time, we'll continue. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.